find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hey everyone, welcome back. So uh, today I wanted to review the Veravon leveling base and uh, I'm going to be reviewing a bunch of uh, Veravon products because they've had a bunch of really cool stuff out recently. And this is a really good time to mention that sometimes when I post a review and I'm very positive about the product I'm reviewing, some people will ask me, you know, is this a paid review or whatever? It, you know, is this like a commercial rather than a review? So the answer is always no. I don't get paid for reviews and um, I don't, you know, I never get paid for reviews and everything I do is independent and if I find something wrong with it, I will say. So um, I just want you guys to know that and to make that clear, it is always written below my videos, but I guess not everyone reads the, the description. Um, okay, so... Let's get to the review. This is the Veravon leveling base, and actually let me separate it from these so you can see it. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to have a bowl mount like adjustment. Hold on, let me put this down. Like you would with a big bowl mount tripod. So for example here, I've got the uh, fancier FC270A tripod, which I've spoken about quite a lot in the past. And then, uh, you know, you, it allows you to adjust your shot and then lock it from the bottom like this. And uh, yeah, I, I know most of you already know what that is, but I just figured I'd show you just in case some of you didn't know. So uh, this gives you that same functionality, but allows you to use a different system of legs. And that gives you a lot more versatility with your choice of legs, as well as being able to go with much, much more compact legs. Because a lot of the time, this something this big is just way overkill. Uh, what this also allows you to do is level your shot on top of a slider. And for me, that is really, really important. Okay, so this this is the unit. Right now, what I've showed you with here is the Veravon Baby T1 um, hi-hat tripod. And a uh, hi-hat is just a very low tripod. This one goes really low. It goes to about there. And um, then I've showed it here with the Veravon... 8, uh, 815 FH head, which is basically just a rebranding of the Fancier, which I love so much, except they've done it with a flat mount, which I absolutely love. For ages now, I've been, you know, I've even, you know, I've been selling these adapters specifically for, you know, for this issue of heads not being able to mount to sliders, etc. So I'm really, really happy that Veron have uh, come out with this head, and I will post a separate review about that. So back to the leveling base. This basically gives you a ton of functionality in something that is, as far as far as I know, this is the cheapest on the market, and the quality is absolutely fantastic, top notch, no issues whatsoever. And uh, there's some things which I suppose I would uh, prefer. You know, if I was designing this, I would make them slightly different. Those two things would be I would uh, have a slightly um, bigger adjusty knob thing here and then I would also have this interchangeable rather than just a fixed screw and of course that I suppose may add more cost to this or something but uh, that would be uh, ideal for me because then I wouldn't have to because uh, personally I wouldn't put my camera directly on there I would be using this underneath the uh, fluid head so for me it would be better if that was a 3 8 inch connection rather than a quarter inch uh, so here we do have a 3 8 inch at the bottom, which is the uh, standard, and that's what you want to have there. And uh, so if this was only for uh, tripod heads, then this would have a quarter inch, uh, sorry, 3 8 inch, but it has a quarter inch because they know that some people want to put their camera directly onto that. So what that means is you need to just pick up one of these little adapters. They don't come included. And so... Um, You'll want to pick up one of these adapters and uh, you'll want to probably buy a few because generally if you just buy one, chances are it won't fit whatever you want to fit it to because they just vary in size. I mean, normally they're strong enough. I've never seen one. Um, I've seen them sort of uh, get stuck in things and whatever, but I've not seen them actually break while in use. So, um, yeah, that's just... Uh, it's fine. It's not really an issue. You just have to be careful. If it doesn't screw in to whatever you're screwing it into, if it doesn't screw in easily, don't screw it in tightly because it may get stuck. So that's um, that's just basically one important thing to remember here. So what I would say is get a bunch of these, like maybe buy five, they're really cheap, they're about a pound or something on eBay. Buy like five of them and then you know that whatever you want to connect, uh, you know, you'll be able to, generally, you'll have one of them will fit whatever you want to fit it to. 
So, uh, if I connect this to there, pretty easy to do, and make that nice and tight. And then, same thing again on here. And what I like to do is just spin the head on top of the tripod legs. Alternatively, you can just hold it up from the head and then spin the legs, but that doesn't work so well with heavy tripods. Um, so, nice and lock that down nice and tight. And uh, generally, you only have to lock that down just, you know, with hand, hand locking strength, and that's perfectly fine. Same goes for this knob. Um, even though I said, you know, I, I would prefer if that was, um, oops, I've got this locked. Okay, so lock that down nice and tight. And, and then that's fine. So uh, generally, you know, if this was slightly larger, that'd be great, but it's not really an issue. It's not too small to, to hold and um, you don't have to like really wrench it down with your hand. It's uh, a pretty easy operation. Now, one thing that's really important is that this thing can sort of ratchet or, you know, it can come out and then, you know, adjust and then go back in. And that is fantastic if that, you know, the units like this that don't have that are just hugely problematic uh, with anything like this, with a, with a bull head, with a fluid head, with a leveling base. They're really problematic when they don't um, when they don't have this adjusting knob. Uh, if the knob is somewhere, it can get in the way. For example, here, uh, let's say if I get stuck on the leg and I can't turn it anymore, then I can just pull it out, readjust it, and then continue to turn. And uh, you don't generally have to keep doing that once you find the position of it being locked. So let's say that's fully locked. I can't move that out of position. Then less than a full turn will allow it to go uh, completely loose. And now you can go sort of halfway between loose and locked uh, for, you know, fine adjustments. And uh, one good thing is that if you continue to turn this and you continue to, un, uh, to loosen it up, this won't completely come out and this won't completely release, which means that it's a lot safer than if it was to release. So it doesn't like fall apart or come apart if you completely undo it. It will just stop turning eventually. So that's completely, completely undone. And that's just stopped turning. As you can see, this isn't, you know, loose or wobbly. It's just sort of loose enough to be adjustable. So that's fantastic. Uh, again, build quality is superb. No build quality issues, feels like it's made from really, really tough metal. And uh, I did tests with this, trying to move it out of position. My test for these things, for strength, is with all my strength, once it's locked down to a reasonable amount, so uh, I just lock it down just using finger strength, not too much, just like I did here, uh, maybe just a tiny bit extra. With all my strength, can I move it out of position? If I can't move it out of position, then it, then as far as I'm concerned, that has, you know, that's definitely good enough, more than good enough to hold any of my camera systems, no matter how big it is. Uh, so um, this has easily passed the test, uh, no question about it. Works absolutely perfect, super, super, super strong. So um, again. No complaints whatsoever, really happy with it, very low cost, so really, really good value and definitely recommended. So uh, thanks for watching, hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, don't forget to uh, ask me below. And uh, don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.